Hey y'all, it's the Cincy Lady East Texas. Today is a very, very transparent video because I just wanna share some things that I'm personally struggling with with you in hopes of encouraging you to push through and get through them with me, right? Or if you can offer me encouraging words, then by all means, please do. So there are certain times where I feel like, oh man, you know, my cells are low and I beat myself up and then it makes me just completely shut down. We've all been there, right? Don't even say that you haven't. Now, I work from home since he is my full-time gig at the moment and I do have set office hours, but I like to be in my office sporadically throughout all day, every day, right? Now, my issue can be where, like today, for instance, prime example, my um, husband's out of town and he sent me a message and he said, hey, how's your day going? And my lip starts quivering and I'm like, oh, I'm fine. And he's like, you're lying. What's wrong? He immediately knows. I haven't seen him in like 48 hours and he knows <laughs> that something is wrong. And it has nothing at all to do with him not being here. It just so happened that... I had some downtime this afternoon. I, on my lunch break, I got sucked into a movie on Netflix. That was issue number one that I turned on the TV during my lunch break. And now I have set office hours. I mean, I do work every morning from eight to 12, and then I take my lunch, and then my afternoons are kind of up in the air, depending on if I have Zooms or trainings or deliveries or whatever. So at noon, I always take my lunch break and I sit on our couch with our puppy because she likes some mom time, right? I am a stay-at-home dog mom. And so she likes to snuggle with me. Well, then I turned on Netflix, got sucked into a movie. Well, an hour and a half later, the movie ends. What do I do? Pick up my phone to check the time, immediately start scrolling. Now, y'all, I don't do this a lot, but when I do, it's bad. It's so bad, and I know you're with me, right? Because we've all been there where we get sucked in, and then I saw a post where my friend was having a really bad day and posted a really sad story or whatever. And then I keep scrolling and see that another friend had to put his dog to sleep today. Well, by now, I am just like sobbing uncontrollably, and I'm just like, oh my gosh. And, and then I'm feeling sorry for myself because I challenged myself to, to place orders on Monday. And so I follow up a little bit every day during the week in order to have those orders rack up so that I can place the order the following Monday. Well, I've done my follow-up all every day this week and everybody has just said, no, I'm good. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. And it's like, oh my gosh, like why am I, why is everybody turning me down? So it's that rejection is piling on, all this sadness from feeling or from reading everybody's junk on Facebook. And then I stopped, right? So I got up this morning, I came in my office, I worked, I focused, I cranked out some work, and then I took a break and I didn't come back. And that's where I messed up. I didn't come back. I didn't get back in the zone. I didn't go back into that mindset. I let myself stay stagnant. And y'all, that's where the problem happens. We get stagnant. We get st still, right? And then everything kind of festers and then it's like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. That's when the whole, oh yeah, I was going to do that today, but I'll just do it tomorrow. I'll just follow up with them tomorrow. I'll, I'll touch base with that customer tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes and then you're overwhelmed because it's like, oh my gosh, like why didn't I do all that yesterday, right? And then you feel like you've got two days worth of to-do list like piled on you and then you're overwhelmed tomorrow, right? It is a vicious cycle, right? Now who's with me? I know I can't be alone here. My point is that if you find yourself scrolling, you have to say, self, get up, step away from the phone. You have to have that willpower, that determination, that strong-willed work ethic to say, my goals aren't going to reach themselves, right? And that's what I always tell myself. Like, I'm a director, but I always say, superstar directors didn't get, get to their title by doing this. 
and then I like lash out at myself for superstar directors don't just sit and scroll on Facebook. That's not how they reach their title, right? That's not how they reach their goals. Or I'm not going to earn such and such incentive by just sitting here doing nothing, right? And so if you need some type of accountability, maybe that would work for you to try to tell yourself, oh, you know, whoever, whatever you want to be, whatever title you want to be at, or if you want to earn the incentive or whatever, tell yourself that that person in that role or at that level doesn't get there by sitting here scrolling or sitting here being stagnant saying, ah, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll put it off. I'll do it tomorrow. Right? Who's with me? So y'all, full transparency. I'm not sure what my malfunction was today. I just sat there with my dog and she was comfortable and dog moms, you hear me, right? It's like, oh, she's comfortable. I'll just give her five more minutes. Well, then five more minutes turns into 30 and then an hour. And then before I know it, it's three o'clock and it's like, oh my gosh, I've been sitting here for three hours and I've watched a movie in the middle of my work day. I've watched a movie, I've scrolled Facebook and TikTok and I've accomplished nothing. So you have to get to that point where you're like, this is not gonna help me reach my goals. I have to step away and you have to get back to it. So here I am back in my office at 520. I've gotten some work done. Now I'm talking to you. So we're with it, right? I'm back in the zone and I'm not gonna let myself go there. But y'all, we've all been there. Like, don't beat yourself up. It is a reality, but you have to find a way to get out of that funk that you're in when you're in that zone. And if telling yourself incentive earners don't earn blah, blah, blah incentive by doing this, whatever it is that you're doing, if that works for you, go for it. Just my two cents of the day, full on transparency on something that I personally struggled with. I don't struggle with it a lot, but I'm not going to say that it hasn't happened before and it probably will happen again. So full on transparency, just thought I would share my little two cents of the day in hopes that it may help and encourage you if you find yourself in that type of situation in the future. So talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a fantastic day and stay focused because like badasses don't get to be badasses by sitting still. Y'all have a good one.